m'appelle Eva, je suis étudiante de français depuis un an. Ah, bonjour, je m'appelle Lauren, je suis étudiante de français depuis deux ans. Hi, I'm Eva, I've been a French student for one year. And I'm Lauren, I've been a French student for two years. Lauren and I took Rochelle DeMeo's French 102 class together, which is the point in time where we both really started falling in love with French, using it more, and just really being passionate about it. So we'd like to share a few tips on what helps us and what helps us practice and really keep it going. The first thing that we both did is we began to write in French. We would journal in French, we'd do notes in French for our other classes and French. We take every time we got to just write as much as we could remember from the lessons we've learned. And if we were ever confused about something, we'd either ask each other or we'd go online and try to find the answer. Another thing we did was turn basically all of our social media accounts to French. Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook. We, we made an Instagram account um, that we share where we post photos and have captions entirely in French. So that was, that was definitely fun. And another fantastic thing about turning your social media accounts to French settings is it really forces you to learn the vocab pretty quickly because situations like not knowing how to log out or how to respond to a notification really kind of immerse you in that and you figure it out pretty quickly. Another thing you can do to really immerse yourself in the language is to listen to French music and watch French movies. Just anything you can do to hear native speakers speak French because it really enforces it in your mind. And subtitles are kind of cheating, but you're welcome to use them if you need them. But just really listening and eventually you'll see yourself just picking up on some of the phrases, especially just the little words. Like one of our favorites is both, which just means it's the English, in English the equivalent would be like gah. Or it's neck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and just having conversation in French is, it really helps. If there's somebody you can study with, whether it's another French student, somebody who already knows the language, or if you happen to know somebody who is a native French speaker, use that opportunity to really practice all the French that you've learned. One thing I do, my siblings think I'm crazy, I just talk to myself in French. When, when we're upset or stressed, we just find ourselves speaking in French because it's comforting, it's soothing. Um, but just anything you do that just has you forming sentences, things that aren't straight out of the textbook, just speaking as you're like yourself in French is really helpful and really important. And if you like more hands-on activities, there are plenty of other things you can do. Like Eva and I, for one of our assignments in our French class, <laughs> we ended up making a French fruit tart and we made the recipe in the recipe was French and we made ourselves only speak in French while we were making the recipe. And it was just a lot of fun. And then we made a PowerPoint slide to cover everything that we've done. And when you really experience something in French, it helps it to stick with you. So there are our main tips for really practicing and immersing yourself in French in your daily life. Turning your social media accounts French, writing in French, listening to French music, doing basically anything in French, talking to yourself in <laughs> French. <laughs> anyway, Just another thing to keep in mind is don't be scared. Don't be afraid of messing up or having somebody laugh at you if you pronounce something wrong because just find somebody you're comfortable with and really practice it with them because they're going to be learning too. Just, and you will, it'll be worth it because you'll, you'll be able to hold on to the language much better than you would if you just kept it in your own head because languages are meant to be spoken and shared. These are the tips that have helped us the most and we hope that they help you as well. Au revoir. Au revoir.